Hello, welcome back to Innovation. Today we are going to look at our project-based learning assignment that we're going to be working on for the rest of the year. So if you recall from my intro video, the project for this year is Journey to the Moon, and we're going to create a program in Scratch that tells the story of a journey to the moon. Today, we're going to focus in on research as our first step. The research step is going to involve us looking up three uh, on three different websites to find two facts. You need two facts. And we're going to post those into a document and submit it inside of Google. But I'm going to walk you through that process so you can kind of see how to do it. So let's take a look. So I am here on our class page, Innovation, Grade 3. I'm going to click on Classwork. And you can see there's an assignment here that says Research History of the Moon under Distance Learning for next week. I'm going to click on it. And I get all this information with all these links. Now, before you start clicking links, I need you to click view assignment because there's no way to submit it from here. You can't turn it in from this spot. So we're going to click view assignment. Now that we've clicked the view assignment, we can see that we have a place to turn in our document. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at one of these websites. So I'm going to look at the moon is cool. And when I'm scrolling through, I can see lots of facts, some of them just about the moon itself, but what we really want is something on the history of the moon. So what I'm going to do is look for a fact, and here's a nice one about Neil Armstrong being the first person on the moon, and when he stepped on the moon, and some things that he said. So I think that is a good fact. So I'm going to add a document. So we do that by clicking on this Add or Create and go to Docs. We want to add a new document. It's going to create a document for us in our Google Docs and it is going to name it this, the name of our project. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so now when I click on the document, I can go and look at my website and the document by clicking through the two tabs. So first, in order to get the words on here, I could type everything, but I may not remember it all. So what I like to do is use cut and paste. So I'm going to highlight the name Neil Armstrong. And then to copy it, I'm going to right click with my mouse. So here's my mouse. I'm going to go to right click and click on copy. Then I'll go back to my document and I can either click, first let me get this bigger, there we go. I can either go up to click edit and then click paste without formatting because I don't want it to look the same on that website as it does on my document. Or I can right click again and click paste without formatting. Now you can also use control V but that will put all of the formatting of your copy into your document. We don't always want that. Let's see, what did he do? Well, he stepped, so Neil Armstrong, we just want the word stepped, out of his spacecraft, the Eagle on July 21st, 1969, and said these famous words. I'm gonna copy this again. And then I'm gonna go back, and what did he say? Well, he said, that's one small leap for man, one giant leap for mankind. And there's the fact. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to get the address of where I got this information from. So I'm going to click on the moon and the cool kids facts, and I'm going to click on the URL up here. Remember we did this with Scratch. We were copying our addresses so we can paste them into Seesaw. This time we're going to copy our address so we can paste it into this document. So I'm going to either press Control and then C on my keyboard, or I'm going to press a right click and then hit copy. So in case you need to see the keyboard, here's the keyboard. Okay, there's control and there's the letter C. So you press control and C at the same time in order to get it to copy. I'm just going to do it this way. And then I'm going to paste it in. And there's my address. So now I have completed 
one fact. You have to do one more. Now, I don't want you using my fact. If you decide to use my fact, that's okay, but you would have to do two more in addition to my fact. So it's okay to use this fact, but you gotta find two more facts in addition to this one. Now I'm ready to submit it. Let's say I did all my facts. So I'm gonna go up here and click on the turn in button. So I'm gonna click turn in. And it tells me that one item has been submitted and it tells me what I'm submitting. And then I gotta press turn in again to make sure it is submitted. And then you'll get a message saying it was submitted. You can unsubmit a document if you need to. That way you can make changes to the document. You cannot make changes to it unless you unsubmit it. So if you want to add another website or you find something that wasn't spelled right, you could go ahead and hit unsubmit, okay? So that is all I need you to do this week. Find those two history facts and put them into a Google Doc and turn it in following those steps. Have fun. See you next time.